on one of them. Just see her there wearing the dark vest, lining up in lane two here. And uh, all these followers here have come to see her, a woman who's made a fair degree of history, Yulia Stepanova. There she is. Reform drug cheat turned whistleblower. Now living in hiding in what has just been described in the newspapers as a mid-size American city. She's lived in fear since she took her own life in her hands as well as that of her husband's. Came clean about her doping past and lifted the lid on what has been going on in recent years in Russia. I think it would be fair to describe that as polite applause for Yulia Stepanova. The big cheer coming, perhaps predictably, for the Dutch girl who lines up alongside her, Sana Verstegen. Here's Selena Buchel, semi-finalist in the World Championships last year, a semi-finalist on her home track in Zurich two years ago. The significance of this heat greatly enhanced as Yulia Stepanova steps back in from the cold. The first time we've seen her on an athletics track since last year. Stepanova competing, not for a country but under the flag of the European Athletic Association. And she's gone off right at the back. She has been training, we know that. She also has the Olympic qualifying standards. She's been given the right to compete at the Olympic Games. But as a competitive athlete, as a woman who's been one of the best half milers in the world, she will not want just to go there purely for the processes of significance and to state what has been her case. At the moment, she's got a lot of work to do. She's stuck right at the back here in this first round heat of the 800 metres. Out in front, the Stegen, the Dutch girl, Herring, the very tall German, very good athlete, Christina Herring. But at the moment, well, you'd have to say that Stepanova is looking in some discomfort and tailed off at the back. It's been a disappointing performance from, well, we'll call her a Russian athlete because she is Russian, but she's not representing her old flag. She's just simply running here under the banner of the European Athletic Association. But it is Herring out in front. There she is, the rolling shoulders, Bukula, 157 athlete at her best. And now, well, Stepanova isn't even on the same screen. So Verstegen alongside Buchlis, Herring starts to fade. Remember, it is the first four who go through to the semi-final. One of them won't be Yulia Stepanova, who is now about 60 or 70 metres behind these athletes. It's Buchel who leads. Verstegen being roared on by the home crowd. She's there in second place. Buchel and Verstegen moving clear here. Evangelidou there of Cyprus coming through in fourth behind Herring of Germany. But it's Buchel who takes it. Verstegen comes through in second. And well, looking back down the track, well, I'm afraid that Yulia Stepanova has stepped off and she's stepped off about 150 or 160 metres short of the finish line. So the Russian came here. It was a performance of great significance in one respect, but not in another. And there she is, just limping around the top bend. And it does have to raise questions, Stuart, about whether this woman will actually get to the Olympic Games. On that evidence, clearly not. Um, she was way off the pace right from the start. And uh, looked uh, with one lap to go, she was grimacing 
as she approached the finish line. There's, there's the problem. Well, at least the perceived problem. I'm not sure what it is. She has uh, come off the track with an injury. And uh, the rest are there with Buchel, Verstegen, Vangelidou, Herring. The first four to go through by right. Not a happy day for Stepanova, but she is limping. And uh, what a year this young woman has had and what an effect she's had on the history of world athletics. The whistleblower so-called, but uh, in an attempt in some way to put right things that have been wrong. And my goodness me, there have been a lot of things wrong. The face of what was Russia, what was a country now disqualified from competing in the Olympic Games in Rio de Janeiro. And I think we'll leave it at that. Yeah, she is the first athlete so far to gain special dispensation from the IAAF, the world governing body, to compete initially here, but also at the Olympic Games, but looking there, she was reaching back for the back of her heel, so it makes you wonder whether there's a bit of a niggle there to either the bottom of the calf or the, the Achilles, but things not looking good at the moment for Yulia Stepanova.